Hello, my name is Vladimir Vermos from Olympus Scientific Solution Department and today I'm going to tell you about application that gaining popularity and this is oil analysis. Uh, I'm talking about analysis of sulfur, phosphorus, mechanic particles, additives and any other elements you could be interested in in oil or lubricant samples or fuel, diesel uh, and so on. So um, today I have uh, Vanta C-Series uh, with the oil calibration uh, mounted in a portable field stand. A uh, couple samples of oil with certified uh, amount of sulfur. A uh, couple grams of iron slag because I want to contaminate artificially oil and test it before and after that and check the differences. Uh, and dosimeter because we want to be sure that uh, this is completely safe and there is no any radiation or something like this uh, harmful for operator. So <clears throat> uh, let's start from the software. Um, right under my image, you can see the screen uh, of the PC software. Uh, I can connect it with the Bluetooth or with the USB cable like this. So first of all, I'm going to the methods and select oil the special calibrated method um, then um, let's check here is the element suit for this method so um, oil calibration use uh, three different beams consistently uh, with a different uh, voltage uh, filter settings and so on uh, red elements this is the priority prioritized elements for each beam so for example if we are going to test sulfur third beam is our if we want to check iron we use uh, first and the second one um, so uh, let's go through the notes uh, I want to create label for for my sample it's okay um, go on testing times oh it's okay Three seconds, three seconds in first and second. We can in Olympus, you can uh, separately choose time, testing time for each beam. It's really, really useful and you can save a lot of time. And 20 seconds for the third because we're looking for sulfur. Um, okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Then we have to put a sample. So I'm, this is aiming camera. It helps me position in positioning of the sample the measuring window then with the cover here and okay let's test um, self okay okay we can change anything so this is template for vehicles but uh, you can change it uh, in the fleet manager even the names of the lines everything is customizable and go Uh, in the left bottom corner of the PC software screen, you can see the status, how beam switched, and how many uh, seconds passed in each one. And here is a certified law. Yeah, now you can see them on the screen. So two uh, and a half percent is certified value for this sample. And we already got an answer. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, 2.5 and 5 uh, with this measuring time uh, so next what I want to do is contaminate the sample with a slag take the sample here um, so I'm going to use just tiny amount, uh, less than 10 milligrams. I hope it will be possible to use this. Yeah. Like so I'm showing the camera. Yeah, it's right on the tip of the spoon. And yeah, this is all there. Next. As fine as possible. Of course, this is not a proper sample. Uh, sample preparation, but for the brief demonstration purposes, 
I would say it's enough. And then place a sample again on the probe table. Cover. And right in the same mode, um, just let's increase testing time in the second, in the first and the second beams, like this. Um, that is off. Class room. Let's go. Yeah, it's immediately uh, R in the PS. Um, at like 3000, approx 3000 ppm or uh, 0.2%. Uh, Arsenic 7 ppm, lead 11, zinc. Let's go for sulfur. Sulfur is here as well. Okay. Um, oh, I, I forget to show um, show you the dosimeter. So let's run the test again. Maybe particles could fall a bit down, but I don't think it's really critical. So uh, this is seven uh, nano zeros per hour right now. And you can see nothing changed. Maybe. So it's completely safe. This device is certified as well. Mm -hmm. And we are done. Yep. Oh, by the way, you can check spectra. We got elements of interest. For example, let's take let's take sulfur. Let's take iron. Here is the K alpha Calbetta lines. Uh, beautiful sharp picks of iron you can see here so that's how it works then for example i want to export the result and go to export settings uh, i can pick pdf csv json this is like excel sample image aiming image and then just uh, everything's okay so i can just pick one test and export it or I can push this button and export everything, uh, er, uh, all the tests we've made today. And next, I'll show you what it looks like. Yes. So this is PDF report. You can uh, there is a, you can put your logo, uh, all the details of the tests, all the elements, spectra, image, uh, aiming image, panoramic camera image, everything. Um, and just send it email, whatever you want. Pretty useful and quick. Um, so uh, this is it for this uh, brief demonstra demonstration of um, what we can do with a portable XRF right now and uh, working station or fill stand. Um, there are a lot of standard methods and uh, protocols for measuring uh, different elements in oil, lubricants, fuel, diesel, uh, benzene, and so on. Uh, this is the least of uh, the most common one, and uh, we can definitely help you. Uh, if, if you're following the standards, we can definitely help you with Venta. So please, if you have any question, go to the uh, olympusims.com website and just uh, put, go to the contacts or uh, just Submit the question form, request demo, request a quotation, anything you want. Uh, we will help you immediately. Uh, thanks a lot for your attention. Bye.